Father and business owner trying to help a stranded driver ends up losing his life in a hit and run crash. It all happened on I 20 right near Great Southwest Parkway just before midnight. Steve Pickett, live for us over at Grand Prairie Police Headquarters now. Steve, we know the victim was a tow truck driver. Anything new to share? Uh, j just a loving husband and father. We talk with family members about him raising his children, the life that most of us would never understand because the life most of the folks uh, knew about was his job, a tow truck driver trying to help someone else. And as you mentioned, uh, Doug, police here need the public's help because they say someone simply hit this man and kept going. When Grand Prairie police officers arrived on scene, their cameras captured images of Keith Holt's tow truck, and the car Holt was preparing for tow. The only sign of the hit and run driver who killed Keith Holt, the fragments from the driver's car, still on the scene. He went to, he went to the rescue, and I, that's the last words. Right before he walked out, we said, be careful, we love you. He said, all right. Joshua Mosby watched his cousin leave his South Dallas record yard Thursday night to retrieve a woman's stalled car along the stretch of I-20 and Great Southwest Parkway. Within moments, Holt would become the second DFW area tow truck driver to die in a hit and run crash since late November. Police say the driver never stopped. It's because of the damage and the dynamics of this particular crash and the damage that was done to the vehicle that struck the tow truck driver, uh, we're convinced that that person has to have known that they've struck something. The suspect's car is believed to be a white or light colored Nissan Altima, a 2012 to 2015 model. It has damage on the front right side of the car. The passenger side mirror is missing. Keith Holt's family members today gathered at his business site, hoping someone in the Grand Prairie Arlington area saw something. Care what time of day it was, what time of night, Keith was there for you. And please slow down on them roads, please, y'all. I mean, you know, I take it as my family and this loss, somebody else's loss next time, you know. Don't let it be your family, this hurts. Grand Prairie Police and Crime Stoppers coordinating with this a $2,500, up to $2,500 for any information, and you can remain anonymous if you provide any information regarding the person driving that car and causing this death of this tow truck driver. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.